Welcome to physics. The year is 2020 and we've got this whole pandemic going on and some of us are doing all virtual learning. And so what we're going to do here and now is a mass versus weight kind of virtual video lab because I can't get you in here to actually do the measurements. So I'm going to show you the measurements. Now some things. This is a balance. It is a triple beam, one, two, three, triple beam, single pan, unequal arm balance. This is also a balance. This is a double pan equal arm balance. These are not scales. You know that uh, the blind lady holding the scales, the scales of justice? Those are not scales. Well, that's a balance, just like this thing right here. Anything you're balancing, or if you're balancing, well, that is what we call a balance. Keep that in mind. Those balances are for mass and for inertia. This is, well, that's a scale. And this is what you can use to measure how much weight you gained over the past several months. This thing right here is designed to measure force. A scale is designed to measure force. This is another one designed to measure force. I can pull on this and it can measure the force between my two hands. This is another one that we will be using, a force scale. Now these are often used for weight, which is an example of a force. So check out all the other videos that are linked to this thing. But today what I'm going to do is take a whole bunch of objects and show you the measurements on this balance. It's a balance and show you the measurements on a scale like this. So I'm going to show you a whole bunch of values for mass in grams and the weight in newtons. And then you can, from this, take the data that you need and make a graph. We're going to graph mass versus weight, see what we get, analyze that graph, and find the relationship between mass and weight, and a whole bunch of things about mass and weight. So, next, lots of data. The weight-mass relationship by Video Lab data collection, this time on Learn Physics. So here's the data table you want to set up, something like this, and this is the graph. Clearly that is not the shape of the graph that we're looking for. There's a video attached to help you out with that. I'm not doing this lab for you people. Okay, well maybe I am, but it's only because you're not here and you don't have access to a mass balance at home or a little tiny scale that you can use and you don't even really know the difference yet. So what follows is a series of quick little videos, and stop it when you need to, of first five objects and their masses shown on that triple beam balance, and then five th those same five objects and their weights on scales. I think they're all in the same order, total of 20 objects. You probably don't need to grab all 20 of those objects, but a good 10. You know, make sure you have some really small ones and the biggest ones. And well, there you go.
you've got all that data, convert to kilograms, and then put together the graph that does not look like what you have on the screen there. Check out the attached videos. The mass weight relationship. Let's learn physics. Thanks for watching Learn Physics. And thanks for that thumbs up too. Really helps a lot. New videos most academic weeks. Subscribe for more. I've even got education ideas, Freaky Physics Friday, and Tech Tip Tuesday. And for bicycles, motorcycles, and family adventures, it's my other channel, Bike Physics. You just learned physics.